Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first asset review and setup guide on the RawRacing.com channel. Today we're checking out the Fortune Vehicle Spawner, a clean, efficient tool that makes spawning vehicles easy and organized. It does exactly what it says it does and for the most part it does it well. But like any asset, it's not perfect and I'll go over the downsides in just a bit. Let's start with what this offers. This version of the Fortune Vehicle Spawner comes with categorized vehicle sorting so you can easily browse through your cars, a built-in cooldown system to prevent players from spawning spamming the spawn button, automatic removal of your previous vehicle when a new one is spawned, and my personal favorite, Game Pass vehicle support that's super simple to set up. Now let's talk about the not so great stuff. The biggest concern for most developers is performance. The spawner renders every vehicle's viewport directly in the UI. While it looks sick, it can cause some serious FPS drops, especially if your vehicles are high detailed. Because of that, I'd only recommend using the spawner if your vehicles are low poly or well optimized. Anyway, let's get this thing installed. First, head over to rawracing.com and open the marketplace. The link's in the description. In the search bar, type at fortune, that's the at symbol followed by fortune in all caps. As of this recording, it's the only asset uploaded by the fortune team, but just in case they release more, make sure you're looking for the vehicle spawner. Click download and then extract the zip file on your desktop or any folder you prefer. Inside the folder, you'll find a .rbxm file. Drag that into Roblox Studio and you should see a fortune package appear in the explorer panel. Open the package and drag each folder into its proper place in the explorer. Then, and this is important, ungroup everything. If you skip the ungrouping, the spawner will not work at all. Once that's done, it's time to replace the demo cars. Go into server storage and delete the demo vehicles that came with the asset. Then, drop in your own vehicles in the same folder. I recommend doing a quick playtest here to make sure everything is working properly before moving on. Now let's talk about categories and game pass setup. In replicated storage, open the folder called car spawn categories. Delete the script labeled fortune delete me and duplicate the provided template script. Rename the duplicate script to whatever you want and this will be the script of your new category. Open the script and you will see that the developers have left you helpful comments inside to guide you through setup. But I'll show you the full process in case you can't get it working. For category.name, give it the name you want it to be displayed in the GUI. This can be anything like Game Pass Car Pack 1, Supercars, or whatever fits your needs. For category.attribute, use a name that's easy to remember, not something random. This value is important because it's how the vehicle spawner identifies and handles the category. You'll see what I mean in just a bit. Now stay with me. If you set category.access to all, that means the car will be spawnable by everyone with no game passes required. If you want to lock a certain category behind a game pass, change all to game pass, all uppercase. Leave category.hidden and category.priority as they are unless you want to control the display order of the categories in the GUI. In that case, just tweak the priority number. Now for the easiest part. Grab your Game Pass ID and paste it into the Game Pass ID field. If category.access is set to Game Pass, the game will automatically prompt players to purchase the Game Pass when they try to spawn the locked car. After making sure everything is ready to go, copy your category.attribute text exactly because it's case sensitive and it has to match. Now it's time to get cars into categories. This part is simple. Select the vehicle that you want to categorize. Scroll down in its properties until you find the attributes section. Click the little plus button to add the new attribute. Name the attribute car category. Again, it's case sensitive. In the value field next to it, paste the exact value you used in category.attribute back when we were doing the script. If you followed everything correctly, you should now have your first car categorized. Do a playtest to confirm it works. Do you want to add more cars to the category? Just repeat the same attribute process. Or if you want to create more categories, just duplicate the template script and follow the same steps we just did. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up this tutorial. If you're looking for more assets to speed development for your racing games, Check out the Raw Racing Marketplace, where we drop new assets weekly. More updates and community support are also available in our Discord, link in the description. Again, huge thanks to Fortune for agreeing to host their assets on our website. And until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, do stay safe and bye bye.